And good morning, boys, ladies, and gentlemen. My garage is an absolute disaster. Paolo's battery died. Dark Horse has a check engine light. And now the Shelby exhaust actuators are not working with the new exhaust, so we are running into problem after problem. But cheers to life. Cheers to today. Um, we're actually going to be cutting. We're going to be doing race dumps on Apollo coming soon. I you might have it in this video. might have another video. I'm not too sure what is going on. My life is in shambles right now. But we did add some rear sound uh, dentinning in the back of Apollo. Um, actually helped a lot. Took it for a little ride, but it's going to help more once we add race dumps. And yeah, you see all that? Good old sound deadening. Apollo, check engine light. I have to fix that later. Shelby exhaust. It, we're in shambles right now. I'm, I'm so pissed, but we're not we're not discussing that because the actuators are being a pain in the butt and keep closing on me. But we are going to go look at the brand new Ford Raptor today. So we're going to be taking Yeti. And I did title this video. Come on, unlock. Ugh, I love my Raptor. Got the good old blue guts. But I titled today's video, Is the regular EcoBoost Raptor better than the Raptor R? And I'm going to have to say yes, in my opinion of being the Raptor R is sitting right over there in my driveway. And y'all might be calling me crazy saying, how do you think a regular EcoBoost Raptor is better than the Raptor R? Well, I'm going to tell you a few things when we get in the truck and discuss it. But I did do some upgrading on my Raptor and it is running and performing better than ever. But on this truck, I this was actually a little backstory. This was actually supposed to be my Raptor R that I ordered. But his old 35 package EcoBoost was having nothing but issues with suspension a bunch of little stupid stuff and uh yeah i said you know what keep my r you can have it because i want to keep this truck in the family because it's such a badass truck not taking nothing from this truck but overall practicality this truck can do everything this truck can this truck just does it faster in my opinion and i love this truck like you guys know you see the shelby in the garage this is one of my this is my favorite body style this the gen 1 and gen 3s gen 2s we had a gen 2 it was like eh, i loved it when we got here but after driving it for a long period of time, it just, and it was early Gen 2, it was early 2017, so suspension got really soft, needed some more love, but this truck is beautiful, in my opinion. Sounds freaking amazing. Everything about this truck is just freaking perfect, but the fuel mileage and practicality of this actually freaking sucks. It's horrible. Gets like 330, 340 to a full tank, and with a good old Sleepy Joe in office, boys, this truck is three times the price of filling up of what it used to be and it's actually like it's kind of disgusting to go to 30 minutes to work i did the math it's going to cost over almost 50 dollars round trip just to drive this truck for me to go back and forth to work so that's why i was like i'm gonna pass on the r i think i'm gonna keep the ecoboost for a little bit longer but overall practicality i'm loving the ecoboost we're about to do a massive massive road trip all the way to florida and back towing with that truck but we're gonna head over to the dealer right now i just wanted to show you guys the raptor r and I'm going to talk more about the practicality and stuff, uh, get more in-depth in depth and some pros and cons things I don't like. But I want to go check out the new Raptor. They got one over at Plaza Ford where we got this truck from, where I got that Raptor from, and where we got the Explorer from. So super, super awesome dealer. I'm going to tag my salesman, everything, link in the description if you guys want to check them out. This Raptor we're going to check out is still available. Even they have a Bronco Raptor that is available. But I want to show you guys this because I love the Raptors and the new one is here. So let's go check it out. All right, shout out to Steve. He's going to pull the Raptor up next to mine. But I want to to check out the s650s because you guys know i've been loving my dark horse this was a raptor video but trying to stay on track and these s650s look freaking good this black one caught my eye because i kind of like the stripes a little bit with the red brakes and like the bronze wheels i don't know why i love the dark horse but i'm itching for another 10 speed something different like s650 wise obviously but i don't know i just want to kind of build like something different but god everything looks freaking good it's a manual MT82, gotta love it. Race red looks absolutely insane. With the red brakes, that's the one thing I wish I got was the red brakes. And this is a 10 speed premium. You can't go wrong with a Mustang, guys. Cannot go wrong. I wish I could daily drive one all the time, but I'm driving the Raptor. But good Lord, these things look good. I love this color. I don't know what this color is, but damn, that thing looks clean. Another clean one. The black looks the best in my opinion, but I just hate cleaning black cars. Dang, I didn't even know this was a thing. A bronze GT emblem? That looks sick. So let's go back up there, check out the Raptor side by side now, and we can actually show you a good comparison of the two. Look at the Z06 coming. Oh, yeah. That's Hector from Fast and the Furious. That Z06 better rip it. I can hear it. I hear it. Yes! 
<laughs> cream it's white so we got them side by side now we were just talking like steve likes mine obviously i like mine more and granted like yes this was the raptor it's mine everyone's gonna be like oh you're just biased towards yours i love the new one but i do think my headlights look better like once you flick them on hit those headlights steve see like mine being connected i think just looks 100 times better and it goes all the way around this one just goes a line at the top it doesn't look like it goes all the way down here does it it's just it's that swooping line there oh wait look the camera will pick up the line but yeah. like in person you can't see it like right here it looks like it's off and then right there it's on well, but i i was looking for two to see if like the minor details to see if they retain the raptor lettering within that they did they extended the whole housing and it's right there oh wow just i didn't even little, i didn't even notice that either just small little details like that but this one i do like the grill the materials definitely feel better i was saying that we mentioned that this feels like it feels cheaper i'm gonna say i mean it's your I, typical plastics that yeah the grill. i mean mine's been cut a lot as you can see to fit the massive intercooler <laughs> i forgot about that <laughs> it, dude you gotta see how thick this is i was showing them it is a thick boy it literally looks like it's boosted it looks like an old school pro charger grill. Pop that thing open and see how thick she is. Son decided to come out. I know. Thanks, son. Look how thick she is. Oh wait, and that that was aftermarket or? Yeah, this is from S S V C Off Road Performance. Oh okay. Is that the same guys? No, that's A D D that did the bumper. Yeah, A D D for the bumper, and then that's a different company. They're both out in Cali, I think. Honestly, I didn't even know you did the intercooler. You didn't? <laughs> it looks sick when you're driving. Like, I mean, seeing the truck go down the road, I'm like, sheesh. To run cooler and then we had to make our own bracket for the adaptive cruise control because the bracket from add did not work i'm actually probably gonna have to return that it was wasted yeah. 250 dollars i mean i like the new stuff too and i i mentioned to them like when i was telling you about the heads up display look how they did it they literally did it so smart there's no reflection so the, standard now so remember how the c8 when we were driving you could it was just smooth and you could see like the small section of where it is mm -hmm. if you sit in it you can't really see it but like if you know where the hole is right. But like you're not gonna see a reflection like even just with the sun being out and going in you don't see a reflection because they have it so far down and it's like in a pit so it's hidden yeah. so they did good on that and then i'll show you guys the dash real quick and then throw you right back in line truck you can see it's still got the hump but they smoothed it all the way over which looks pretty sick i don't know if a lot of people notice that I don't think so. see mine's got like the double hump i guess you could say it does <laughs> i'm a coconut <laughs> slut i love the smell of coconuts <laughs> but yeah <laughs> it does look good i don't know it looks freaking good let me know what you guys think yeah, the raptor is for sale so if you guys want it come get it at plaza like i said i'll tag everything in the description hey i'm gonna steal these fresh rubber floor mats all right that's fine don't look I'll put it on your tab <laughs> seats look the same everything looks the same pretty much so you can see Seats probably got a little refresh. Do the seats look different to me? Like, do they look like they got a little more bolstering? Well, these are the standards. Yeah, those are the these standards. Are, these are the Recaros. I mean, but I just feel like the like, I feel like my dad's they weren't like this plush. I feel like they were like a lot like. Well, so keep in mind. I mean, the materials change often, and like for the Mustangs, for instance, for twenty four, you feel a premium. Oh yeah, they definitely a changed a lot. I mean, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they did something similar here too. Um, so yeah. I haven't noticed anything else. Heads up display dash grill headlights i don't really like the instrument cluster did you really? see how like turn it on get in there and turn it on and go through the modes tell me it doesn't look like i don't know it looked a little cheesy to me in my opinion okay i don't remember start it if you start it and then just turn the um i'll show you mine but to me it just looks really cheesy like like the whole screen like it just looks does it change as yeah it's gonna it's gonna change like you'll see but like look it's like a like a like a bright chrome well, let me go to like sport real quick and that opens up the exhaust sounds, sounds good. good sounds really good sounds okay that does sound really good and that might sound a little deeper than mine for some reason that sounds nice. why does it sound different no someone idea. else mentioned the exhaust but i looked under and it looked the exact same I but mean, it sounds it loud dude it could be, visual. yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, you got your typical tow haul, your slippery. I mean, the animations are the same, of course, which I always like that little touch. Let me see. Off road is a 4x4 shift, of course. Oh, that's oh what is that? So oh, yeah, that is definitely compass, different. It gives you your roll angle. That does look um, sick. That, mine does not have that. Oh, look where they put the RPMs. They put the RPMs oh, right at the, the top. Up, up top. That's pretty That sweet. does look sick. Uh, holy shit. 
Huh. We're at 442 feet above sea level. That's awesome. Too. I did not know that was a thing. That's good to know. <laughs> that is sick. Well, is this one available? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Slight plug. <laughs> it is available. Holy shit. Um, but on a serious note, though, it looks good. Moonroof is absolutely disgustingly dirty in the back. You I see how dirty it is? Everything's dirty on it right now. Yeah, the pollen. Fresh off the truck, boys. Fresh off. How old is this truck? When was it built? Oh, we literally, I mean, it was probably built a couple weeks ago. She's um, fresh, fresh. We just got it last week, so. She's fresher than a Baltimore stripper? <laughs> that will be a yes. <laughs> I, I, no comment, no comment. I meant work. <laughs> um. Yeah, yours has all the different cameras, right? Yeah, mine has all them too. That's, that's, that it actually. Let me go on the other side and show them that. They actually did change this up in the back too. That looks sick. Mine's smooth, and this one is roughed up. This one looks really, really good. So I want to show you guys the cameras now. We're gonna jump in the truck. I don't want this thing. Oh, just do it. Just max out your credit. No, I have no <laughs> means. Um, you have no necessary need for a truck. And, Just do it. Well, you, I, need, I could always use a truck. You deserve it. You go to Costco. You need to get some stuff. Aldi's hasn't been treating me that well. Look at that. Um, That's actually so much better because on mine, you have to like click through. Mm -hmm. See, why does Ford have to do this? That's the bad look. Oops. Um, I like this one, the fish. The bowl. front, yeah. See, the front side to side really well. Bro. You, does yours have that? It does, but not like with that easy of a touch to look. Really? Yeah. That so that's awesome. something new. I wonder if there's anything different within like the instrument cluster. I think maybe just an update to some of the the modes and the graphics and the overall look. But yours, I know, like okay. So let me put it back into um, normal real quick. I don't even know where it is. It's in the middle, dead is center. It? Yeah, you passed it right there. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, like this has more of a look of like okay. RPMs are actually numbered now. Yeah. Because yours are just like little circles, I think, that the, the RPM displays in the center is like 1.3 to whatever. Yeah, we'll and jump then, in mine and show them that. Yeah. But I mean, everything else looks pretty much a little laggy there. Yeah. But Sync 4 is still really, really good. Here. Yeah, this is so much better than the old one. I don't know what I was doing there. Oh, you gotta, I, I always get tripped up with that too. You gotta I was about to say, am I doing that wrong? No, no. I, I always do it too. I'm so used to swiping on stuff. I actually like that better, having the button. Oh, yeah, me too. Oops. Okay. And you can also change the background of black, so mine's going to look a little different. I did make mine. I put mine in night mode, so that's gotcha. one thing. Yeah, well, let's show them the difference in mine, because that's another thing we noticed with the cameras. That does look pretty sick. Is it in there? What does it say? Oh. <laughs> I think this is for, like, locks. Yeah, I think it's for the box. Yeah. Seats look really oh, good, though. There? No, there's no box. Oh, there's not? This little thing. Oh, here. yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, anyway, so like, <coughs> yeah. yeah, so the number, it goes zero to seven. It's not numbered. It just has the display in the center as to like what your RPM is. I wonder if I rev it. Yeah, it doesn't show it. I thought maybe it pops up, but it, yeah. yeah, it doesn't show it. What about different modes? Like if you put it to sport. Let me see. See, like, look how mine shows the track, though. That's what I like. Yeah. It shows the track, then it changes it. Dude, I don't know if it's just me. But I don't know. This looks clearer too. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was like saying. Resolution. That's what I was saying. Like mine looks more clear. I'm like, am it I does. tripping? No, it actually does. Like this looks a lot more smooth. And I'm, I'm not just saying that, guys, because it's my truck. Like I, I genuinely. The coconut's getting to me. A little it bit. is the coconut. Oh, <laughs> Jeez, you ripped my coconut. Wait, what the... Dude, I think the animations look a lot smoother in mine. I would, yeah, I'd say so. Too. And it shows the track. Like the other one kind of looked like a little corny. So look, off road shows the deep sand and shit cameras kick on so this is how my cameras look <clears throat> yeah a little bit <laughs> so instead of the square pull down like that it's all closer these are kind of how mine are i mean mine are still not bad i mean it's still kind of the same bad one that one's for when you have a trail cam trail, you can add that yeah. that's actually sick what is this one? Oh, bro that's a thing yeah hitch yeah, cam hitch down Bro. Well, you, you got pro trailer too so you push that button and it'll do it for you that that yeah. they can remove that i don't need that i'm a man i can I back up my are. trailer you're not a chevy owner <laughs> <laughs> you said it not me <laughs> but yeah actually i forgot i didn't know mine had it like this i thought i had to keep clicking the camera so i guess just in baja mode i was wrong yeah just hit the hamburger and it lets you do whatever display <laughs> yeah you. that's actually sick so actually mine still does have that but they changed let's just say they changed the little part about it on how it goes 
off-road mode. Like that That's what I'm saying. Mine looks better. I mean, I'm about to go back in the other truck and show them again. Like, if they don't believe me. Like, you guys can meet me in the back of a Walmart parking lot and fight me if you want. <laughs> Steve will be there, too. <laughs> I'm going to film it. <laughs> yeah, these are, there's Baja. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I must say I like about the other truck is how it shows up with the compass and it changes everything a little more. That is what I like. But the animations still look a little weird. Did you notice the one thing? Well, I'm a big steering wheel guy. You got the orange stripe. Yeah. No one doesn't anymore. Shut up. It's a map. It's a black stripe. Seriously? Mm -hmm. You'll see it. Uh, I think did... the stitching's the same. But yeah, I mean, something as small as that. That I don't know. This is the thing you touch the most. It makes a big deal to me. I, I mean, a lot of people like wear this out. And I don't like put my hand right here when I drive. I usually drive like right here or like yeah. right here. But I can see like a little wear in mine with like 30,000 miles. But I always clean my stuff with like Mother's Leather Cleaner. So it's been pretty decently well. Yeah. But I think I like my dash better. I think it's better. I would agree. In my opinion, don't get triggered in the comments, 24 Raptor owners. But I'm about to get back another truck and show you guys because that just doesn't seem... that It seems so like... Well, here, real quick. You, um, <clears throat> here, hop in. I'm locking it and then unlocking it. You got to catch the animation when you hop in it. Oh, holy shit, it's doing a donut. Okay, that that's that's sick. That's pretty cool. That's that's badass. But yeah, go ahead and bring the fire back up again. And then you should be able to see the difference within the gauges. Yeah, we're gonna go straight into the modes. And I'll run you got dude, I don't like it. I'm serious, I really don't like it. All right, no one like, cares. I, like, just pay attention to the detail in the truck itself. Yeah, that's it what goes. I... It looks pixelated. That's what I'm saying. And, it, like, they made it look chrome. Like, it's, like, cheesy. That's definitely... Like, look, you don't, you don't see the off-road, like, how it just showed mine. Right. It didn't show any of that. Like, it's showing it on rocks, like, right now. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we're nitpicking things. This, though, this is the screen I'm talking about. This is the screen that looks freaking amazing. Elevation, the direction... RPMs, you still got all your temperatures. Yeah, that's cool. And then you could that's just cool. go to your off-road settings. You could do pitch and roll. Mm -hmm. You could watch all that, trans temp, oil temp, or you can go to the full measurement gauge, which I do like this a lot. Obviously, I think that's traction control off right there, I want to say that is. The uh, advanced track. Yeah. I just, it looks like a little Raptor emblem at the bottom now. Okay, so that's, okay, that turns off collision warning, and then there's traction control and that yep. stuff off right there. It does give a little outline that it's a truck. It's a little baby rat. Yeah, like right down there, you see it? <laughs> but I think the animations are not as good. Like, look at the Baja. Straight to chrome? It's, yeah, like, it's that's that, Like, it was like a goldish chrome look? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, guys. You guys let me know in the comment section, but I wanted to show you guys my Raptor versus the 2024 side-by-side. -side. I'm not even going to ask him to drive it because it's obviously going to drive similar to mine. Um, nothing suspension wise has been changed. They might have adjusted with the suspension tuning. Nothing to worry about. I will write a strongly worded letter to Ford's graphic design team on their. Uh, yeah, write them. Yeah. Game. I'm actually a little upset about that. I, I thought it was going to look nicer than that, in my opinion. <laughs> I really thought it was going to be better. It really says what it does, too high speed off road driving. Yeah. Rough, cool. uneven, mixed terrain. It's got to give me every, like, every fuel thing it's dropping. Like, geez. <laughs> And then back to normal. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the dash. I think that is one thing that they could have they messed up on. I think they should have kept it like the OG one. Yeah, <laughs> she's so fresh. Engine hours, idle hours one. Engine hours three. That's so sick. Mine's raped. You know what? One thing I always kind of thought was funny about this. What? These don't have a gas guzzler tax. I don't believe. I'd have to double check it. Are but you sure? I don't think so. I mean, let me go look at this. I, th I think they do. I think the dark horse had it too. That is valid. And this, you can also turn off about that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. It is a little different. I mean, they changed some stuff. Nothing drastically. No, no gas guzzler. How? None. It gets worse gas mileage than what a Mustang does. And then what do they and charge? I got stroked for the Dark Horse. I think like 1800 bucks. Yeah, it was. I thought it was at least 1500 Something like that, yeah. Wow. So, I mean, I guess given the fact that it's just a V6, but either way, it weighs more. It gets worse mileage, and yet they don't charge a tax on that did you notice no raptor here oh yeah good point good eye on that. i think this is only 35 package and they made it standard for 37s so they they're trying to give you incentive to go into the higher stuff did my dad's old raptor the 35 package have raptor here i'm pretty sure it did yeah. i was like i'm 98 positive and i yeah. think they just took it away 
I I'm almost certain they did. Yeah. They have it on the dads, but I oh, well. remember. <laughs> Still builds up dust right there like mine does. Oh yeah, you better believe it. Did you see this little F series logo here? Oh no, I didn't. Good eye. Yeah, a little F series. Cool. There. They're like, what should we put here? <laughs> All little details like that. Yeah, it's they, a little cool uh, stuff. They recessed the B and O system down there too i feel like on yours you can see more of that speaker than on this yeah well this is like a higher dash and they made this compartment like really tucked yeah i do like how they did this but i feel like something would fall in there and it would just bother me or something would start I rattling chance that. i really wouldn't either yeah. and you kind of can see it it's kind of noticeable too oh, it yeah. just looks like a hole right up there like this is like my eye view so like when i'm driving this is no joke camera is at my eyes look at that and the camera get a good look up your nose <laughs> pretty much but yeah and the, did you see the materials i was telling them too this is a little different than mine yes yes mine was technically a carbon fiber trim yeah I but and then we looked at it and i got charged carbon fiber but it doesn't look nothing like carbon fiber on the raptor r it's real carbon that's real carbon yeah. fiber i got robbed and they also did like the um did you see they did the whole outline what, of here? no 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 of the actual um air vents but like on that one See, it's oh, like a yeah. full cover. Mine doesn't have that either. Huh. It's the little things, boys. It's the little things we try to notice. And so you guys check this out. Wait, but like wait, I said, this truck wait, is wait. available. Wait. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah, see? Bro, why would they do that? I don't know. It's literally the purpose of this is to make sure you're centered whenever you're off-roading. Yeah. I mean, you can still kind of tell. It, but it's not as blatant But like, obvious. why would you put black? Like, why wouldn't you just do the whole piece? I don't know, man. I don't know. That, I did notice it, and it does look kind of crooked. That does piss me off. <laughs> Ford, drop a comment. Please tell me why. <clears throat> this looks good. Black Ford badge. I think mine's blue. Is it? Oh, I, I thought that just uh, came standard as black on Raptors. I could have swore mine's blue. It looks good, though. Almost took my door off. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wind's ridiculous. It is. It is absolutely horrible today for filming. But I want to give you guys this quick little video and shout out Plaza Ford always. Team of sales guys up here is awesome and the truck is available for purchase. No buyers yet and everything looks good on it. Body lines look good. I was checking everything out. Everything looks straight on the truck. Yeah, it's very straight. It's just black. Black is hard to clean. Yeah. Uh, I don't think this thing's been since it came off the truck. No, it needs a good wash. Yeah, for sure. Definitely needs a good one. I actually want to look at my steering wheel now. I think mine's blue. That's the last thing I noticed. Yep, that's it. I got blue. You got blue? I got blue on mine. Is, and you mean like the leather itself? Or? No, no, no. I'm just or talking about like the, the emblem. The emblem. Yeah. yeah, it is blue. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Good Lots of little that. details. And you can see the difference right there. That's different. And then see the other one that was yes. fully all the way around. Yep. Mine has the chrome trim. I don't know. That's the pretty I like my spec. Around. I love my spec. I prefer this thing all the way around. Mine's been used and abused. Even like, I love how the, the B and O speakers in the headrest. I was say, were they in the other one? I didn't see it. That's another thing. Gotta look. Okay, let's go back. Check it out. <laughs> Gotta check it out. See, this is why I prefer like this style of video, checking things out, because I actually own the truck. I've actually off-roaded the truck. Yeah, it doesn't have it. Son of a biscuit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, most people that are doing these videos of these new trucks have never owned a Raptor Experience Raptor. So we're able to pick out and point all these little features out. Granting it, driving it's really not going to be a difference. There is a little difference between the 35s and 37s. Mine is a little stiffer. These are not as stiff. And that's just all suspension tuning from 35 to 37, obviously. This is the last feature we actually found over on the new Raptor that is different. Look at that. Perfect. That That's actually one thing I really wish my truck had. It's a little thing, but even my dad's baseball Tacoma has that. Does it really? Yeah. So like that, for instance, I could put all my ratchet straps here. I wonder if they can make a kit because you can see like, look, look, come right here. You can see where there's those four bars on mine. Yeah. Look like exactly where it's going to go. I don't think that's an option either. I don't know if they just added that as standard equipment recently. It has to be standard because I've never seen it. It might be just a new thing on the trucks, but it's a good little attachment and it's so easy to use. Make sure that don't fall. Look, literally just twist and it's a little plastic cover. Like that would be so nice to put everything in and then boom, it's locked. Pretty solid. Nothing's going to fall out and obviously standard. Same stuff on the other side. Looks pretty good. Yeah. And this is a factory for spray in bed liner, which I had to get mine aftermarket. I like... I like the one from Ford because it says Ford in the back. That does look sick. I don't know why. I wish I could have had that one. It just looks cleaner. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That's sick, though. That I'm jealous of that. That's the one thing I wish I had. If there's an aftermarket company that I could cut my bed out and add it, I think I would. Little attachment. That'd be a good thing to sell. Just take a buzz saw, too. Yeah, I got to saw at the house. I'll take care of it. You'll be fine. You got plenty of sales. 
Anything different? Oh yeah, shit, they added yeah, all the, this. Uh, the work package that gives you like the, the in, built in measuring stick. That's actually pretty nice. I wonder what all these little tabs are for. Are they just holding it down? I think so, yeah, it just holds that bit of trim in. Oh wow. Oh my god, this is not real life right now. Hold up, I gotta put this down. What you got? Oh yeah, the step. Yours doesn't have that, does it? No. Oh. You okay. know why? It was a package. You have right? to get the sunroof. It's so stupid. This is know. this is literally you have to get the sunroof to get this. I don't understand how that correlates with the sunroof, but you know. maybe it goes off to a different assembly line. Maybe. That's actually really nice though. I like that a lot. And these are tie-down hooks. My truck obviously still has that. Mm -hmm. Both on each side. This is nice though. I do like this. Let you measure your uh, your fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. What the shit box is going by? Yep, there's Han again. <laughs> but yeah, this is the last thing we figured out, boys. That is it. Everything else, pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Yeah. Third brake light, the same. Other yeah. stuff looks the same. Headlights, the same. That's it. That's a wrap.